Hey, before I start, I'm going to be honest about everything I'm going to say in this video. In this video I will talk about why Yun and Cairo appeared in the previous video I made. First let's talk about the idea of the video. The idea for the video was in my mind before the recent drama about Cairo happened. You know, some people will call a Gakatuber who has a million subscribers, that you don't deserve your million subscribers, I personally received comments like that, and that's how the idea of the video came in my mind. In my opinion, no one has the right to say that, because no one forces anyone to subscribe to our channels and if you do not like our channels you can just leave it and don't watch us. Anyway back to the topic. Why Cairo and Yoon were in this video. Before I start talking about why Cairo and Yoon were in this video, let me tell you this is not the first time I have made videos about other Gakatubers. Let's talk about Yoon, that you said shouldn't be in the video because she's been tracing in the past, well, I knew her tracing situation but I heard she apologized for it, so I had no problem adding her in the video. Everyone has made mistakes including me and that's what makes us human, you won't learn anything in your life if you don't make mistakes, as they say you learn from your mistakes, but I hope Yoon will never repeat her mistake and if she does repeat it. Let's advise her nicely not to do so, because attacking and harassing her is not the solution. Unfortunately in this video, some people were so angry at her that they said really bad things about her, what if Yoon saw herself that, she was going to get hurt, yes she made mistakes but does that mean she doesn't have any feelings and deserves hate comments? Some of you will say I'm defending her, well I'm not. I'm just saying what I think is right and if you think otherwise then that's your opinion and I respect it and you should respect my opinion too. Now regarding Cairo, I added Cairo in the video because she always comments on my videos nicely, but did I know about her recent drama before making the video? The answer is clear, no I didn't know that she had been exposed for something again. I didn't even know what she was exposed for, thanks to Noah who explained to me. People have made videos about me and said, if I didn't know, why didn't you research this topic? Like are you serious if I didn't know how and why, I should do research on something I had no idea about, this got me confused. Honestly, I used to watch Flo's videos, and I knew about any new drama going on, but because of the disagreement between us, I stopped watching her and even chatting with her, but I hope we can solve this problem between us in the future. I always like to promote all Gakatubers in my videos because I think we as gacha creators should support each other so that the gacha community can continue. Like the gacha community is all about Gakatubers and our fans, but without Gakatubers there are no fans and without fans there is no gacha community. And one more thing I should mention, Cairo and Yoon actually promoted me in their videos once, and that was another reason I promoted them as well so don't think that I promoted them just because of their mistakes, that I didn't even know about. And I want to advise Yoon and Cairo, I want to say that if you want to continue as gacha creators, please be careful about what you post and think about the fans and do what's best for them, of course you don't want to lose them, because our channel is nothing without them. I think no gacatuber deserves to be cancelled, just because of a mistake they made, unless the mistake is as big and disgusting as Lentitali and Hatsumi's mistake. Anyone can be a gacha ranter but not every gacha ranters can be a good gacha ranter. So please gacha ranters, if you see a gacatuber making a mistake, talk to them privately, advise them and tell them that what you did was wrong and that you want to make a conscious video about the mistake, so that no one else will repeat it. Don't just make the video and act like this way, because some of your viewers will attack them, even if you ask them not to. But if they don't listen to you and don't care about your advice, you can create your video about them however you think is right. But I'm sure they will listen because you won't find any Gakatuber who likes to get into a drama. And if any Gakatuber accidentally gets into drama, please explain your side yourself without relying on anyone else, because no one understands your side better than yourself, and I know that, because I experienced it. 
People also asked, why I didn't add other Gakatubers to my video instead of Yoon and Cairo because there are many more Gakatubers who have 1 million subscribers, well I will answer that too. The problem is I don't know most of them, I know Devil Bona but because she stopped posting for a long time she wasn't on my mind when I was making the video. I know Rosie close too but who dares to say she doesn't deserve her 1 million subscribers. What I hate most in the gacha community is drama because it is ruining our gacha community, I hope that when drama happens, people don't keep making all the videos about it, like one or two video is enough, why we have to keep spreading drama, and making it this big, instead of trying to stop it, I really don't understand. I remember when I joined the gacha community it was very fun and much better than now, but now the gacha community is 60% drama and rant videos. There is a lot more to say but maybe I will talk about it in another video if necessary. Before I end the video, I want to say please let's try to work together to protect what's left of our gacha community, before it's too late, it really hurt me when I see a comment, on a rant video saying I'm leaving the community because of drama. That's it, if you agree or disagree, you have freedom in your decision and I will not force you to agree with me. Bye, and stay safe everyone.